Hi guys and welcome, today I wanted to show you how I made the electronic spray for my submarine. The watertight enclosure that I use is from Blue Robotics. It's the 3 inch version and it's only 20 centimeters long. This watertight enclosure is really good because it has really good end caps that have two um, preventions for, for water to enter and then it has very good penetrator designs. This enclosure is made of acrylic and it can withstand 150 meters of depth. For the electronics ray, I knew that I wanted to use 8660 batteries. 8660 batteries are Li-ion li batteries and are found in mostly all your power tools and cordless devices that you use in your homes. It was also used for Tesla batteries uh, a way back and it was widely used for old computers. So if you go to a place where they put trash and you salvage some computers, most likely you will find 8650 batteries for free and normally they can still use. For my batteries, I removed from just one computer, I removed six batteries and uh, I, I had them for free. For the removal process, I suggest you to watch Jehu Garcia videos. He makes really great tutorials and speaks about all the ins and outs of 8650 batteries and the reuse of batteries in general. But remember that it's really dangerous to, to dismantle batteries and it could end in harm or fires. So be prudent and use gloves and everything. After I dismantled the batteries from my old computer, I tested them with an um, RC charger. And uh, so to test them, I charged them to 4.2 volts and I charged them to 3 volts. So to discover the capacity of the batteries. I saw that all the batteries had the same capacity of around 1.8 amperes, which is pretty good for old batteries. For my submarine, since I will use uh, 3S motors and 3S esks, I knew that I wanted to make a 3S battery. 3S battery, it means that I have three batteries in series. So the end voltage of the battery will be one battery multiplied by three. So if the normal voltage of a battery is 3.7 volts, you will have 11.1 .1 volts. Uh, the maximum voltage of the battery will be of 4.2 volts per battery, so multiplied by 3, it will be 12.6 volts. This is important to know to make all the safeties for your submarine. To be sure that the battery is a good battery for your use, I, I will suggest you to watch your datasheet. In your datasheet, you can find information about uh, battery life, load settings, discharge rate, charge curves, behavior at different temperature, and much more. So it can be really useful to watch at the datasheet and discover how your battery behaves. So you can decide if the battery suits you or not. After taking all the decisions, I started to make the 3D model. So I decided to put them like an, a triangle to occupy less, less space. And I decided to put the batteries on the bottom to make the weight of the, the submarine. So when in water, it will balance and will keep the bottom part always pointing the bottom. To have a high, higher capacity for the batteries, I decided to put them in parallel. So I had 3S 2P battery. So it's three series and two parallel. What does parallel mean? Parallel allows you to have higher discharge rates without damaging your cells and to have a higher capacity, so have higher battery life. So in conclusion, I had more or less a 3 1000 mAh battery, so I had a 12.6 volts, 3 ampere. What does that mean? That for one hour it can draw 3 amperes before discharging fully. So in the left you can see all the, the wiring made by pencil, but it's a bit uh, confusionary, so I made a render of the, of the enclosure, so I can show you in live how I wired the battery. So first of all, you can, I will show you the plus and minus of the batteries. You will have to be very cautious about this because if you uh, mistake the, the polarity, you can uh, result in uh, breaking batteries, in a fire. It's very dangerous. So be, be aware and be sure that you wire the batteries right. So these are the pluses and these are the minuses. All right, minus, minus, and minus sign. 
to see what's the plus and what's the minus in a bar in a Li Io battery, uh, it's re really simple. The plus side is the one that is like this, and here normally you have like um, um, a plastic uh, ring, and uh, this is the plus. It's only this part is the plus. All right, in the, by the top view. And the uh, minus side is all the rest of the battery. So uh, all this part is minus. So all this, that is metal, is minus. But normally you connect the wire here in this part. That's all metal. While here you will have the plus side. So to be sure that you uh, have the plus and minus right, you can follow what I just show you here. All right. First of all, I will show you the plus and min minus, the main voltage. It will be the, the, fam the famous 12.6 volts. So this will be the plus. And the two batteries are connected in parallel with a wire. And this will be the minus. All right. Yes. All right. Then, uh, to make, put the batteries in parallel, as I explained you before, you will have, in this case, since we have three batteries, these two batteries will have to be connected with a wire here and here. You see that you put in parallel and one, another wire here and here. This will put the two batteries in parallel, okay? To be sure that you don't have a short circuit or nothing, here I will suggest you to put some uh, uh, scotch or hot glue or something so that these two wires don't short circuit together. Afterwards, you will put a wire and connect this, this battery to both these batteries and these batteries will be connected together with a wire. So you will have the first uh, series battery. Afterwards, you will have to connect these two sides together and these two sides together and then connect both sides with a wire all right and now you will have your 3s 2p battery pack so it's a 3s 2p battery battery pack all right so after that, you will also want to balance charge the batteries and the charge batteries. So you don't only have to have these two uh, wires, but you will also have to have some wires uh, in each side. So you will have to have a wire here, another wire here, and another wire and uh, yeah, and another wire here. These will be three small wires and yeah, of course, another wire here. These will be all uh, small wires that will be put in a connector like this. Now I will show you a picture about uh, a connector with four pins. It will be like this. And these four wires will be connected to this connector and this will allow you to balance the batteries because if you don't balance the batteries and you charge them directly, you can risk to have these two batteries at, for example, 4.5 volts and these two batteries at 3.9 volts and, and the other batteries at another voltage uh, when it will be at 12.6 in total. And this, what will happen is that uh, the batteries will damage themselves. For example, this battery could uh, um, explode or uh, damage or uh, fire or something and also it will not discharge uniformly so the battery life of the of the submarine will be lower as uh, for example if your battery life should last two hours but with this charging uh, wrongly it will last only half an hour so yeah be sure that you also put the balancing leads uh, so to balance the battery well to wire the batteries together, I used soldering iron and soldering wires to the ends of the batteries. Since solder isn't good as attaching batteries, afterwards I used some hot glue, some low temperature hot glue, because if you use 
hot temperature hot glue you risk to, to desolder the soldering uh, and you will uh, ruin your solders but using hot glue can be really useful to uh, make it more resilient to the touch other than that when you remove the batteries from uh, the laptop i will suggest you to leave a bit of the nickel strip that it comes with because the nickel is way simpler to solder a wire to the nickel strip than directly to the battery. To solder the batteries in even a way better way you should have a spot welder. So if you have a friend that has a spot welder you can ask it for or you can solder as I did with normal solder iron. On top of the battery tray I decided to put a perforated plate so that I can put all the electronics I want the, the holes are for M3 nuts, so I can put, like for example, a Raspberry Pi, an Arduino Nano, and all these uh, pieces to make uh, the, the submarine think and be controllable from the exterior and also to be autonomous. I will use uh, almost for sure a Raspberry to transmit data via Ethernet cable via EPV4 and I will use most certainly a uh, Cortex-M6 development board from STM32 because it has a lot of GPIO pins and a lot of them are very configurable and you can use a lot of timers and a lot of interrupt routines that can be really useful when controlling servo motors and um, when speaking in Itochi and uh, SPI and controlling sensors and everything. So I will suggest you to uh, use an STM42 uh, from uh, ARM, ARM processor because it's really useful and can uh, simplify a lot your life. To make the tray more resistant, I use brass pipes that were put on the sides. These give structural rigidity to the enclosure. So not to scratch the acrylic pipe, I use the TPU filament. TPU filament is a very flexible filament that is used for example uh, drones for protecting your cameras but also your cover that you are using for your iPhone for example is made of TPU. It's a very resistant uh, plastic and it's flexible so in theory it should scratch less the acrylic pipe than PLA or ABS or PETG. Okay so after assembling this is the final result. What do you think? Do you like it? I think it came really great. It's only a shame that it's very small, the, the acrylic pipe, so I can't put a lot of electronics. I only have space for a Raspberry, two Arduino Nanos, and a breadboard, a small breadboard, and a few uh, sensors, and not a lot more. Maybe a little, little camera, but not a lot more. If you want to see a video where I, I test the feasibility of using sound to control the submarine, you can click in the next video that you will see. In this video I make a lot of tests uh, of communication uh, like FM, AM and ASK modulation to see if we can use audio to transmit uh, information underwater. And yeah, if you want to follow me around, be sure to subscribe and uh, yeah, see you next time.